afternoon of the opening of the Heights Entertainment Centre here in Sydney. On the plaza canopy, television crews prepare for the big event and technicians sort out various spots and floodlights for the proposed street party after the premiere of The Omen. Good evening, welcome to Hoyt's Entertainment City, the biggest cinema complex in the world. Not just the Southern Hemisphere, as we're so fond of saying, really, the world. Cinema complex, which I'm in now, seats on a good day, that is precisely 4,000 people in its seven cinemas. Seven cinemas under the one roof. For the past month, there have been premieres of major movies here almost every night, but tonight is the big night. Today is the day that Hoyt's cinema chain turned 50, and they're celebrating what you could call an old-fashioned Hollywood style. They've turned on a real extravaganza of an evening. Out there in the street, there are going to be parades. There's going to be a pop concert. Politician in the trees have already seen the Whitlams arrive. Goff, Goff and um, Margaret Whitlam arrived earlier, to a rattle of applause, I, I, I might add. Uh, let me tell you something else about this complex. Uh, one of the things they decided, and Hoyts took a tremendous gamble when they decided to launch this, they planned it two years ago, and at that time, uh, cinema audiences were looking up. Now, just as it opens, cinema audiences all over the world are starting to decline. So it looks as though they're on a gamble. Well, on the evidence of the first month, this is the official opening, remember, they have been open for a month. On the evidence of that month, it looks like a well because the customers are pouring in. premiere tonight, The Omen. And there are the marching girls, inseparable from any parade, of course. Now, that's not Harry Krishna. There we have the dragons. Look at them go. and some silent movie villains <laughs> blazing away at the crowd. Uh, this is a real throwback actually to a 30s and 1940s style film promotion. Hollywood used to send its promotion kits to every cinema manager in the western world full of zany stunts like this one. I mean a parade down the main street to advertise a film. Those were the days of course before television when the cinema was the center of the entertainment world. It isn't any longer, but um, the way this Hoyts complex is shaping, people could be coming back to the cinema in numbers. from the south should be the governor of New South Wales, His Excellency arriving at the Hoyts Entertainment Centre. In a few minutes he'll be seated in one of the new air-conditioned cinemas here. These are superbly designed cinemas by the way. There, there's not a seat in the house in which you haven't got a perfect view of the screen. The seats, even the front seats are well set back from the screen. Sir Roden, Cooper, now being greeted by 
points senior management. Rattle of applause for His Excellency. I wonder if he knows what's in store for him when he sees the omen. Across the road, on the plaza canopy, the projection and camera crew take a and rest. Projection box, which services five theatres, is 130 feet in length by 30 feet wide, the size of a small theatre itself. To give you a better idea of the size of the projection box, let's take a trip down one side and up the other at Cinema 6. room is equipped to show 16, 35 and 70 mm on Philips equipment, fully automated using the non-rewind system. Fine Bill. This is our Bill. We're at the Heights Entertainment Centre and this is our Chief Tom. Oh, yeah. Australian, nice job, my friend. Yeah. I love him, I love him. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. At least you're watching it now six times a week instead of late on Saturday nights. Well, that's very true, yes. It's very true, but the British must make allowances for the Poms. Up the red flag. Think about those barriers. I've got nearly right opinion. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it, love it. <laughs> 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 well, you've got to shut that. You're the man with all the relatives in England, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right? What are you doing now? <laughs> Leave the poor bucket alone. This is a man's world. Thank you. Tea time! Tea time! Tea time! Around it. Twenty-five thousand dollars will buy you this music system. Using a Revox tape recorder, music and announcements are piped throughout the complex. These are based on 8-track closed loop systems and are the announcements for the various cinemas when the film is due to commence. A pulse from a time clock on the projector activates the tape for the announcements and whichever cinema is involved, that tape will play. <laughs> and now the big moment has arrived. Projectors are started and the omen has its premiere.
Mr. Ambassador. Welcome, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Number one and two projection boxes, which are downstairs. Much smaller than the one upstairs, of course, with its five machines. Down here, we have the 70mm 35 Philips projectors, just the same as above, and all types of films can be accommodated. To finish off the opening in style, the Hoyts management threw a huge party in the basement of the theatres and outside roped off George Street. There go the balloons, a fitting end to the opening of the Heights Complex.